If you had a look at Mohamed Alizade's uh, YouTube page, you will notice that he has a massive subscriber base. And this is based on a few videos he posted. And one of this is GTA 5 for Android and he made it in Unity. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty amazing, pretty impressive. And uh, it just took him four months to do it. And I was asking myself, how did he do that? It's, I mean, the characters look exactly the same as in GTA. Their assets are quite high quality. And I thought, okay, if you are alone and doing this kind of project, it's impossible to have this. So he must be a genius or he did it in any other way. And after some research, I found out that he just downloaded the model. So there are some sites out there where you can actually download the FBX models of the GTA characters. He can use this character for his videos, but he can't use this character to publish the game. So all the fans are waiting for the game, but he can't publish it because it's copyright protected. For us, this means we have to create our own character and we can start from scratch in Blender. Uh, this is one of the things I would definitely recommend you. Um, if you do not want to start from scratch, scratch, you could use a Blender plugin from Manuel Bastioni and there you can create a character. The problem is the character is naked and you have to model some cloth. Or you can use some other generators for characters, for example, the main human um, character generator. Uh, this character generator is open source and free to use. Um, I will use this in my video tutorial, but if you have some money, it's the most sophisticated model editor, so it has a lot of cloth, a lot of settings, and every model looks good and clean. So definitely check this out. For all of you who want to go with the GWO budget, I will use Make Human. This is the start screen of Make Human. This is a human and you can customize it. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You can select your gender, a male or a female. I would go for a male, uh, set the age. I want to have a little bit elder male and a masculine male and uh, yeah very big and heavy male maybe a little bit taller um masculine proportion and you can set everything you want so this is a basic setup and you go to through all of these tabs and then you have a character so it's it's just that intuitive i will just show you some highlights for example, in the face tab, you can um, create your own face. For example, have a heavy or a lightweight head. Uh, on the right side, you can set some things like eyebrows or uh, different eyes, for example, left and right eye, or uh, the ears and the mouth size. As soon as you get through all the tabs, it's time for the geometries and the geometries uh, it's basically the same, um, but here you can start with cloth. For example, um, I choose a elegant suit for my character and I guess this is a very nice cloth. In the material tab, you can set the skin tone. In the pose tab, I would definitely recommend you to use a T-pose. After you're ready, you can export your model, export it as an FBX file and just choose your folder and export it. Since we are making a mobile game, um, I import this mobile into Blender and you see it has 12,000 vertices and 12,000 faces. This is way too much, even if this is our main character. Um, we can go to the modifiers and uh, choose Decimate, for example, for the complete um, character. And then we can lower the factor. The um, character will look a little bit uglier. But as you can see, um, after I set it to maybe 0 0.1, uh, it looks nearly the same and it has just uh, 6,000 vertices. 
I was able to size down my model to just 700 uh, vertices. That's it. I commit everything to GitHub. The link is in the description. You can clone the repository.